A carbon tax hike of 23 percent will hit Nova Scotians especially hard. Uh, the Prime Minister's tax will cost $1,500. Federal MPs from that province to vote with Conservatives to spike the hike. One of those MPs is from King's Hance, the chair of the Agriculture Committee, which has been studying the carbon tax paying for farmers. So the question is for the chair of the Agriculture Committee. Will he vote with us to spike the hike? <laughs> And of course, to uh, committee chairs, it's important for Canadians to understand, though, that the, when questions are asked of committee chairs, it has to be uh, regarding stuff that is, has committee business. That's before the committee right now. And so, uh, in consultation, I see that the Honourable uh, Minister for Housing is rising on. The Leader of the Opposition. Well, that parliamentary censorship proves everything you need to know about this and everything else in this government. Right. I asked a question of the member for King's Hands, the chair of the Agriculture Committee, who's now studying the painful impacts of the carbon tax, and the front bench here shut him down, told him to sit down and shut up because they had a better mouthpiece for the PMO who would stand and speak in his stead. Mr. Speaker, the question is for the member for King's Hands, the chair of the Agriculture Committee. His committee studying how the carbon tax hurts farmers. Will he vote to spike the hike? The Honourable Minister for Housing, Infrastructure and Communities. Mr. Speaker, if the Honourable Member has qualms... The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. He's absolutely right. It is a joke. An April Fool's joke. And the joke is on Canadian taxpayers, especially Nova Scotians, who will have to pay $1,500 in higher carbon taxes after that hike goes ahead. He says that the member for King's Hance is a champion, a champion who can't even speak, who's silenced by his own... has 10 seconds left on the clock. Will the censored champion break his silence and tell us, will he vote for his constituents to spike the hike, or will he rip them off on April Fool's Day? For housing, infrastructure, and communities. The Conservatives want to peddle false information to trick Canadians into voting for them. Order. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, the question was for the silent member from King's Hands. He is asked to explain how he's voting for a carbon tax of $1,500 fa per family that only pays back $963 in rebates. I asked him specifically to stand and answer, but he's been shut down and shut up by his masters in the PMO. So once again, will the chair of the Agriculture Committee and member for King's Hands stand in, uh, in today and tell us whether he will vote to spike the hike or raise the tax? Opposition knows full well the rules of this place and the leader of the opposition. Mr. Speaker, the people of King's Hence, Nova Scotia, are learning they don't have a voice in Parliament because he has been silenced. The Prime Minister is terrified that he might stand up and get off script. He knows that. The unanimous will of the Nova Scotia Legislature, Liberals, Conservatives and New Democrats was passed in a motion calling for all of that province's MPs to vote against the hike. So will the member for King's Hands, who is the chair of the Agriculture Committee, stand up for farmers in his riding and vote with us to spike the hike? Yes or no? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, the member for King's Hands is in the Witness Protection Program today. <laughs> he can't possibly stand up when his whip waves for him 
to sit down which is exactly what happened a moment ago when I asked him a legitimate question as chair of the Agriculture Committee, a committee that's studying the devastating impact of the carbon tax on farmers in his riding and across the country. So for a sixth time, will he come out of the witness protection program and announce whether he will vote for our motion despite the hike? Yeah. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker.